Hi guys, it's Nico. On this tutorial we will be creating a book icon. I will be using this as a tutorial icon for my Instagram page. If you are a beginner in Adobe Illustrator and you end up struggle on this tutorial, I suggest first you learn the basics of Adobe Illustrator. I got a tutorial for you where I cover the basics, all my tricks and techniques I use in Adobe Illustrator. You can find a link on my video description where you can download this tutorial. First step, let's open a new file, I will name this file book icon and set the hardware size to 1700 with 1000 pixels. Then hit create. Let's create a square using the rest angle. Click on the artboard and with holding shift create that perfect square. The square should be around 450 pixels. Align it to the center and change the stroke size to 15 pixels. Now open one more wrist angle, the width should be 300 pixels and the height should be 550 pixels. Drag the wrist angle inside of the square on the right side. Now double click on the wrist angle so we can isolate it. With the direct selection tool, select the top left corner and the bottom right corner. Then drag it a bit up so we can get that book shape. And press escape to leave that isolate mode. Now we will need to add extra page. Go to the blend tool. Change smooth to specific step and set it to 1. Then press OK. With the blend tool click on the top page and on the bottom page. So we have a page in the same movement. Choose the direct selection tool and then first unclick everything. Then select the top page, go to effect, wrap and select arch. Set the bend to 30% and press OK. Same for the bottom page, select it, go to effect, wrap, arch. And now we will set the bend to 15%. Choose the selection tool, so we can scale everything down. Hold shift while scaling, so we can keep that original shape. Now let's create a copy from the pages. With holding count, drag on the right and then first let go the left click. So now we've got a copy, let's reflect. Go to object, transform and hit reflect. And we have one more option to reflect it. We can just use the shortcut O on the keyboard and move it from right to left with holding shift. Now with the selection tool, select the book and hit Ctrl plus G to group it. Then align it to the center. If you notice on the bottom of the book, the shape is a bit weird. We can fix that by making the stroke corner rounded. Now it looks perfect. Always when you are playing around with the stroke, make sure it's rounded so you won't end up with bad shapes. Now with the direct selection tool, Select the bottom pages and change the color to grey. So we can have that interesting effect. Let's add a background. Go to the ellipse tool. Go to the center of the book and with holding out and shift make a circle. Remove the stroke. Right click on the circle. Select arrange and send it to back. I will do a custom color here. Alright, now we have that book icon. 
it looks too generic so to make it more unique I will double click on the book to isolate, double click again to isolate the top page and with the direct selection tool select the top right corner and bottom right corner and move it up and a bit left and press escape to leave the isolate mode. If you learned some useful tips on this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on my Instagram page, Nicodola. I wish you happy design. Cheers.